Hey everyone, this is Custom Spray Mods, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a regular old WRX into an STI. Check it out. Okay, so the only thing you need to do to turn your WRX into an STI is to put a wing on it. Put a spoiler on the back of the car and it's gonna make it just as good as an STI. So yeah, don't worry about spending all that extra money on, um, on the upgraded version of WRX. Just get a wing, put it on your RXE, and you've got an STI. So yeah, I've got this here. Um, I bought it off eBay. It was quite cheap. Um, the plastic's in pretty poor condition. There's holes in it. There's a few imperfections. So I'm just going to give it a good paint job, uh, put some primer on it and get it perfect. So the first thing I've done is sanded it with 240 grit sandpaper. Now I'm gonna clean it with some anti-static cleaner, spray some plastic primer on it. Then I'm gonna put some two-pack high fill primer. That's a high build primer. It's gonna fill in any imperfections then I'm gonna sand it, paint it, clear it, slap it on the car. It's gonna make it go fast. Let's do it. Okay, so now I'm cleaning it with the anti-static cleaner. And you clean plastics with the anti-static cleaner because a plastic is, uh, it's got like a static charge and the anti-static cleaner can, um, can just decharge the, the product and, uh, and get rid of those, those statically charged particles that are on the product. So yeah, um, normal wax and grease remover won't work as well. The uh, anti-static cleaner is alcohol based, so that gets rid of all the static, statically charged particles that are on the product um, really good. Because uh, if, if, you, if your product has those charges, then it's going to attract any bit of dust. And when you paint it, it's just going to, um, to really suck in any dust in the air. And that's gonna make your paint look crap. So basically, anti-static cleaner is great to use on new plastic parts to get them perfectly clean and ready for your primer. Okay, so before I put my 2K primer onto this plastic spoiler, I'm gonna put some plastic primer. Basically, the plastic primer is ready for use. So you just put it straight in the gun and spray it on your job. So you wanna do about maybe two coats, two or three coats, wait 10 minutes between coats, and then you can go on to the next step. So let's do it. Now just in case you're wondering, this is available in spray cans and you don't need a spray booth to do this, you can do it with aerosol cans. So um, yeah, I'll put up the, uh, the picture of what it looks like in a can, just a spray can with plastic primer in it. But I'm doing it with the gun, so... I'm wearing a mug! Okay, now I'm going to use the 2K 5-wheel primer. Got my mixing cup. Now this is 4 to 1, so it just means 4 parts primer to 1 part hardener. Alrighty, so I've put my primer down. Now, you can do this with aerosol cans, with spray cans. Um, you just need to use a high build primer from a can. Now, I always say you can do this job using spray cans, you can do it with a spray gun. But the main difference is, a spray gun, when we're doing two pack primer, I normally recommend using a 1.8 mil or a two mil spray gun. That means this little hole, in the spray gun is 1.8 mil wide. That's going to allow heaps of primer to come through on the job. It's going to give you a high build and um, lots of coverage. Now, if you compare that to a spray can, which is a little nozzle like that, it's probably about a mil or 0.5 of a millimeter. You're really not going to get the same amount of product on the job from a can that you do from a gun. So if you do use spray cans, instead of putting maybe two or three coats from a gun, you're gonna to need to like maybe triple that and put, you know, six to seven coats, maybe up to 10 coats of primer on your job. So it's a bit different between a can and a gun. Just need to put heaps more coats. And if you do that, you're gonna to have to let it dry a lot longer between coats. And that means it's just gonna take you a lot longer to do the job. So um, sometimes it's uh, just worth it spending a bit of money on a compressor, getting a spray gun, get your job done quick and, um, and with a quality product. So that's what I think about that. Okay, I left my spoiler dry overnight. Now I'm gonna put some body filler in all those little holes. Okay, 
Alright, so here's what you have to deal with when you buy something off eBay. Look at all the holes I have to fill. These are all very fine pinholes. Just the plastic is very poor. And there were little tiny holes. I mean like if you don't really care too much about your paintwork, they're alright, but I mean I'm not gonna put something on my car that's got little holes all over it, so bogged it up and it's just gonna be maybe an hour of sanding. But at least I know it'll be perfect. So just in case you didn't know, this is an onion board. So you can do all your filler and body body filler on here, and then when you finish, you just peel it off. And it's clean, you've got a nice fresh board. Okay, so I repaired all the little holes, uh, put some more primer on it, now I'm ready to sand the primer. Before I sand it, I'm gonna spray a guide coat. It's just a color in, from an aerosol. I'm gonna spray that on the job, and then when it dries, I'll sand it off, and the guide coat will tell me where I sand it, so. Okay, now I'm gonna sand it with some 400 grit wet sandpaper. I'm gonna just do it by hand. I'm gonna use some water. Um, I'm gonna use a small block as well for the big areas, so. This gets your primer really smooth. Okay, I sand it with 400 grit wet sandpaper. Now I'm gonna sand it with 800 grit wet sandpaper. That's gonna make it smooth and ready for the base coat. Paint. Now I'm just going to spray some wax grease remover to clean off any residue and all that rubbing. Okay, now I've got my awesome colour. This is my custom colour that I've designed um, and I've got it on other parts of my car. So I'm going to paint the top of the wing with the black and I'm just going to mix that 50-50. side walls of this uh, spoiler, I'm going to paint them in the pearl white, same colour of my car. So the colour code for my car is, 37J is the colour code of my car, so I've mixed that up. Now I've found that it's two colours, there's a ground coat white and then a top coat pearl. So from factory, how do I know how many coats of pearl they've put over the ground coat? Well you don't know really, every coat you put on is going to change the colour of the pearl. So what I'm going to do is I've got these um, cards. I'm going to spray ground coat on three different cards. Then on each card, I'm going to put um, one coat of top coat. Then I'm going to put two coats of top coat pearl. And on the third card, I'm going to put three coats of top coat pearl. I'm going to clear it up. And then I'm going to put it against the car and see which one matches the best. That way, when I'm painting my spoiler, I know that the color that I put on there is going to be the same as the car. So that's how it's going down. Okay, now I'm doing the top in the metallic black and the rest are going to be different colours, so I'm going to mask up the black now using some fine line tape. This is the hard part. Okay, now I'm ready for the white pearl. I'm spraying my ground coat, then I'm going to spray two coats of pearl on top of that, and then I'll be ready for the next step. Now I've let the paint dry for about 20 minutes. Now I'm going to start masking it up with some fine line tape. Then I'll mask up over all the white and then I'll be ready to start my next layer. Okay, so I've got my white pearl all masked up. So no paint is going to go on there. Now I'm going to paint inside here something cool. And then when it's on the car I'll have my black, my pearl white on the side and then underneath will be my candy, which I'm going to do now, so. So when you're talking about candy, it means that it's a completely see-through color. In this case, it's red. So I have to spray a base coat. I'm going to put a silver base coat, and then just for kicks, I'm going to put some silver flake. Then I'm going to spray the candy on top. When you're spraying candy, because it is see-through, you have to make sure you get even coats and cover all the areas of the part you're painting. Otherwise, you can put your clear on and you'll find you've missed some spots. So it's very important to be careful when spraying candy.
Now I've unmasked all the paper and tape. I'm going to spray three coats of 2K clear on top. I'm using a 1.3mm DeVilbus GTI Pro with a T2 air cap. That's giving me awesome atomization and a great finish on the clear. Now I've let the part dry overnight, it's nice and dry and, and strong. I'm going to start installing it on the boot lid. First I've got to take off some trim, undo some clips and then start to work out how I can attach it to the car. On a stock WRX there is this little tiny wing at the back. It's just slowing you down. You need to install a big wing on there so it's just as quick as an STI. So rip that off and start getting ready to install your STI wing. use the little bung screws to mark the paint and that might help you know, drilling your holes. Now that I know that it all fits, I'm going to put on the little waterproof sponge tape that they supply with this wing and I'll attach it to the car then I'll be ready to um, move on to the next step. Now because I removed the small wing, I've got some holes in my boot lid. So they supply you with a little filler panel here that you can just stick on and cover those holes. I'm just using some really strong double sided tape and uh, that's going to help it stay down. So here we go again, another chance in my hand to pretend with the pen granted, life's hard to defend. Stand large, play your part, be your master of zen. And when you're asking within, listen to your heart and begin from the start to the win. Cause this art is a craft and the craft is an art, spitting sparks through a mask into wind. And that wind travels wide with the flow on Rome, never settle for the desert cause the sky's my home. It's irrelevant, the pressure now I'm on my own, but I forget it in a second when I step in the zone. And when I bless the dome, the mic jumps to the vibe, get high like it's life, put your ones in the sky. Let's do it now. Yeah, third time round and the sound of the best You see I learn my sound by observing the rest And it's my turn now, breaking out of my chest To turn the words out loud with every last breath I thought the power surging out and I'm hurt No more sitting in the ground, fuck rolling in the dirt And I prefer round town, you be spreading the word That on my third time round, I'm in it to be heard huh? Sick of being burnt, left chasing the dirt Feeling hurt well, there you go. I painted the wing. I painted this spoiler. I got off eBay. I had to do a few repairs, but I ended up uh, priming it, getting some body filler in all those little holes, um, sanding it. Then I put about six layers of base coat on there. I've got the metallic black on top, the uh, white ground coat, white pearl on the sides. I've got silver base coat, silver flakes, then a candy apple red on top. Finally, I put about three layers of clear over the whole thing, and that protected it and uh, made it just as good as the finish on the car. So yeah, I um, had to drill a few holes to install it on the boot lid, but it's all done now and the car is just as good as an STI. It's time to go do some skids, see if it really is as good as an STI. I got the passion to be doing it right, I'm doing it right. Now, one thing on my mind 
time beats clap and I'm on the fly Yeah, I'm looking in the sky Wings so big in the dream of my life And when I leap for the fire By my side is a team with the heat and the vibe That we bring life to your seat With the rhyme and the speech make flames out of lines And that mind keeps spreading at a venomous pace I feel the burn with the ink stains out of my veins Now it's my turn straight out of the gates In a race with the mind and a fight to amaze Shine bright in your face I siphon the light from the sun In a drum to create the fun still to come So cover your eyes, stay alive and listen to the sound waves bounce with the rhythm in a vigorous way Hit the emotion when I'm spitting like a fit in a cage Not forgiving individuals who spit in my face I'm here to shine and amaze, free fire in your way Like Tyson in Vegas, I'm gonna make this mine It's a mission of time, style design, fly written in lines To get the hide in my sights, right swing to your face Drop the chains and shackles, I'm gonna rattle the beast Rain matter scatters a freaks from possessing a beat It's a never end, a lesson refreshing the standard S It's a blessing, the simple methods I created the speech So rise from your seat, incline and decree To the minds, you can find the release I can finally see your horizon right in the islands alive and ready for me Well, there you go. I think it's safe to say that my WRX can now do skids just as good as an STI. I've been to the track, I've been driving around the road, and I can definitely notice a performance increase just by simply putting a spoiler on the back of the car. So, yeah, all you need to do is um, get yourself a, a spoiler, a wing, give it a good paint job, slap it on your car, it's gonna make it go faster. So, yeah. My name's Dave, that was Custom Spray Lines. Oh! <laughs>